Someone has an infatuation with uh Pussy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Well that's one I took from a picture online and it's like this translucent octopus and it's sitting it's like it literally looks like that where it's like it's all oh, flared so out. Real octopus so I made I made it like I turned it into a cosmic octopus and put it in the in you know, turned it into a constellation and it said Cos But it actually I haven't even seen it on a black light yet. I I, didn't even know that. I have not even seen it. You can get it on a more even a tube board you have like twenty four bucks or something. This one is, believe it or not, one of my friends gave me these two canvases that she had bought at a garage sale. Like, so you can kind of see the back of it. And so what I did is all of the paintings that I, almost all of these that I painted, there's like 20 of them that are like brand new. Every time that my palette, because I use like a ceramic plate, yeah. and I, I would like let it dry out and then scrape it off and then stick it to this. And so it turned into this really far out thing. And this is a salt. But I like put, I just covered it up and turned it into Saul. So if you're familiar with the biblical story about the transformation of Saul becoming Paul on his walk to Emmaus, where he had this transcendental like, you know, where, where God struck him dumb until he like professed, you know, whatever. So that, so one of my things came out and this looks like a little dude with, with like his robes. And so I put a little like cross and that's his, oh, that's, that that's Paul. Yeah, you can see where it's like the back of his hair. That's cool. And it kind of looks like, yeah, it looks like, like that. That's really cool. So, that's, a, that's an awesome story. So then there's like, so I see, to me, I see like a great, I like see a shark and I see some dragons and a crazy looking horned giraffe. And, and after a couple of oh, uh, slippers, uh, mm -hmm. This is amazing. This one was with Papa Dozio. I painted this with Papa Dozio. That one I painted with this group called Telesmas from Baltimore, Maryland. You totally gotta check it out. This dude played a like 16 foot long didgeridoo. Oh, yeah. It is awesome. And he always paints himself up in like a tribal, like, you know, painting and stuff. And that is my, nice. my ode to, to David Bowie after oh, he passed. Nice. And that, see, my David Bowie, I love, I love, I love all of his manifestations and transformations but i was raised with the let's dance david mm -hmm. bowie so okay. that's my let's dance Dude, you know, under the serious moonlight that's every serious moonlight because he's serious about that freaking moonlight man it's <laughs> a <laughs> serious <laughs> freaking moonlight <laughs> I, I had so much fun last night i haven't had that oh my gosh i'm so glad you came out oh my gosh and you've got your like the scale and you like you know your your deeds are put on there and weighed out and <laughs> if you're lucky you get to start again in the new in a new cosmos but then at the last minute I put a, a, an apple in its hand and I never really thought so much about it except for just you know but then there's so many connotations to what apple represents and symbolizes so computer company. Well, <laughs> okay. And having some kind of hidden picture, like a person's body, or doing some kind of solid data, some or holy crap. Perception art, man. I've been researching shit out of that. There's some wild perception art out there that you look. Horse perspective. Yeah, you look at. It.